Hey guys, this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews here, and today is part two of my eMachines upgrade. Hey guys, this is Mike B from Budget Tech Reviews here, and today we are actually updating the CPU in an old 2009 eMachines computer that I purchased uh, from Walmart, like I don't know how many years ago, but I purchased that computer in 2009 and you know I wanted to do some upgrades to it and the reason why I wanted to do it was because uh, you know I, I, this computer still works uh, so recently I updated the, the hard drive to an SSD so the SSD is right here as you guys can see there uh, that I got that going with a Windows 10 Pro installation uh, I also do plan to update the graphics card which will be in this slot right here and I also plan to add an internal uh, Wi-Fi adapter as well just to get that going. Um, I might end up uh, replacing the motherboard altogether though because this motherboard only supports uh, DDR2 RAM which is right here and a DDR2 RAM is like poorly poorly outdated so you know this computer uh, was luckily enough to have uh, other supported <clears throat> Uh, you know motherboards that were about the same size so I hopefully can snag a motherboard that was for a different model that was able to get DDR3 RAM uh, because it supports that and I want uh, faster uh, CPU speeds but the point uh, the point of this video guys is so that I can actually uh, update uh, this thing right here uh, which is the uh, processor or the CPU uh, this is the AMD Python X4 uh, Oh, Z, or never mind, it's the Phenom X4, uh, which is the model number 9750. It's a quad core AMD processor, and it is compatible again with this motherboard over here. And excuse the really weird uh, <laughs> blackout there. Uh, but again, uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that one out and I'm going to put this one in, and I'm going to reconnect everything, guys. So I want you guys to just know how simple it is to do something like this. Uh, again, the CPU is right there where my finger is. Uh, I did a video recently on uh, putting some coolant on it, uh, but now I'm just going to remove it all together and I'm going to put this new uh, CPU in. Okay, so I already removed the little tab here. Uh, so basically all you have to do is you just have to lift this out. Now it might be a little tricky because my hand is a little uh, sticky from the, from the coolant. So I'm trying not to get any of it on the motherboard obviously. Uh, but this should just lift out. Hold on, let's see. Let me try that. Okay, hold on, my finger is getting stuck there. And again, I don't know if I have to pull this latch. There we go, higher, there we go. So it should just come out now, hold on, let's see. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna gently take that out. And you guys can see here, that's the old uh, CPU here. Again, it was their, it was an AMD uh, single core processor. You can see that it's like super, I put too much uh, coolant on there, so I'm just gonna let it rest there and hopefully clean my hands off a little before I get uh, this new system in. Now again, guys, this is, uh, this is not something that you force out. It's super easy to pull out. You just have to uh, lift up this little metal tab here, and then once you put the new uh, processor in, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna lay it flat. So excuse the jiggliness on that. So you, again, you have to kind of match up how it, it was in the, in the old one. And if you guys paid attention, this little gold, hold on, let me see if I can get that to focus here. There you go. So this little gold thing, which is where my thumb is, uh, needs to be in that bottom corner there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it in, guys, and we will see how it goes, okay? All right, so it's, it, it slipped in just like a glove. So I'm gonna lock this in place now and we should be good to go guys. So that's basically it. Uh, again, uh, I did take this computer apart right now so I'm gonna have to kinda put everything back together. But once I do, I'll go ahead and turn the PC on and let you guys know how it run again. It's a quad core processor opposed to a single core processor. So I'm gonna stop the video here. Let me put everything back together and we'll get it going. Alright guys, now the moment of truth. Uh, this thing is still semi put together, but I'm going to try to turn it on now. Let's see if this uh, CPU update works. Alright, so as you can see there, the uh, machine actually turned on. My dogs are going crazy over here hearing the noises. 
So let's find out what's going on. I'm kind of excited, guys. Excuse the camera wobbliness. It says your, your PC ran into a problem and it needs to restart, and that's not good. I'm not uh, sure what's going on there. I did, I'm did. i not sure if I turned the PC off right the first time, uh, but I went to the... Uh, I went and looked up this actual CPU, so I mean it should be compatible, but again, uh, hopefully this gets going. I'm hoping that just wasn't a jitter. And I'm hoping I connected everything back right, guys, but let's find out. Alright guys, uh, as you can see here, the computer is running with the new CPU, so I just want to go to my computer settings. I can, to I can totally tell a difference, guys, by the way. This thing is so much more fluid than it was uh, with that single core processor. So definitely a major improvement again this is a uh, 2.4 gigahertz quad core uh, AMD Phenom processor X4 that I just added and I'm super impressed by the quality of the, the, the speed really quick but as you can see here it's actually doing what I wanted to let me move the camera really quick and let me figure this out really quick I might have to change the actual uh, Hold on, let me change the display. I'm not sure what's going on. I had it set at something else and it changed back. So let me change that really quick. But again, it's a lot more snappy uh, than when I had it. Keep changes, okay. So I'm have, my resolution is at 14. It says it's not optimum. Uh, the optimum mode is whatever. I don't even know what's going on there. Let me move this. Not optimum recommended mode, yada yada yada. Okay, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, let me just change it back to this. That's where I had it to keep changes. Okay, I don't want to get that error. Okay, so again, guys, I can definitely tell the difference. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run a benchmark. Uh, as you can see, uh, prior to me uh, doing this, uh, the benchmark was actually extremely slow. Uh, I think it scored in the 700, so let's run a quick benchmark and let's see where uh, this PC stands. Alright guys, I just did a uh, Geekbench 4 uh, test and the numbers on this machine have actually upgraded uh, significantly. Uh, the last test I did was uh, in the 700s on both the single core and the multi core. Uh, score so now I'm at 1400 on the single core score and the 3637 on uh, the multi core uh, right now again and, and again it's running really smoothly uh, the one thing that I can tell you uh, about this uh, new upgrade though is that my fan on my uh, motherboard here uh, on this uh, e machines tower uh, is doing a lot of work compared to what it was doing before so I don't know if that's something that is normal or not uh, just because now maybe the uh, you know the the CPUs uh, getting a little hotter uh, but again guys you know that's something that I'm going to have to troubleshoot and you know just again for reference you know this video is just you know a video of me uh, upgrading my e-machines computer so it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error again I might uh, swap out the motherboard I I'm gonna basically put a new graphics processor in there as well uh, along with a wireless adapter uh, so and you know hopefully if I can uh, afford to buy a new motherboard for this I'll be able to get all uh, the RAM swapped out etc like that so so far guys uh, I'm very impressed on on how this is running and again it's super smooth and fluid uh, compared to uh, compared to what it was so you know again now I just kind of have to tweak with the settings uh, make sure that I'm not gonna fry the motherboard over here and we'll see how it goes guys so again guys this is Mike from BTR Budget Tech Reviews if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, you know if you have any comments about how to upgrade PCs etc like that uh, do it but yeah now this is a quad core uh, processor PC and now I just have to basically work out the kinks here so again guys this is part uh, two of a series. Uh, I'll get another video going next time. Hopefully I'll be able to do a little more uh, stuff to this and figure out a few more things. But again, guys, uh, please comment below. Please subscribe. And if you guys like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, we'll see you next time.